Ah yes, Sagat. What a memorable character this combatant is. When it comes to Street Fighter's universe of athletes, few have been quite as imposing as the Emperor of Muay Thai himself. This towering adversary has become iconic for not just being one of the toughest opponents players must face off against in Street Fighter 2, but also as this legendary game's penultimate challenge. While this is Sagat's most well-known and celebrated appearance, of course his intriguing story goes far deeper than just this game, including featuring as the final boss in the 1987 Street Fighter game. The master of the Tiger Uppercut is an integral part of the entirety of the Street Fighter canon, so for this reason he deserves celebrating. So holding these thoughts, in today's content not only are we going to go back and look at every single video game and media appearance that this over 7 feet tall Thai foe has ever made, but also cover how he went from a last boss to eventually an unlikely hero. There is no doubt that this man's humongous presence is of the utmost importance, so let's go back and look at the whole career journey of everyone's favourite eye patch wearing wonder. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Big Daddy Top Hat here. This is the terrifying story of Sagat. Yeah. As of today, Street Fighter 6 has now been playable for quite some time, and although Sagat himself has yet to service in this game, thanks to this title season 2 pass, his former Shadow counterpart M Bison can finally be played as and enjoyed in this game. As of September 24th, even Terry Bogard joins the roster's already stacked lineup. Street Fighter 6, like most modern games, is on the rather costly side, so I wouldn't be disappointed if you haven't got round to playing it yet. Through using my link from today's sponsor, Instant Gaming, I can get you a massive 68% off this future competitive classic, and even a huge discount on the Season 2 Pass 2. Use my links via the pinned comments to browse for up to 90% off thousands of AAA, indie, modern and retro games, and expand your collection on a shoestring budget right now. Happy shopping! Sagat would first break onto the scene in 1987 with Street Fighter and become a household name by the release of a second entry released in 1991. But prior to the character first servicing, what were the inspirations behind his existence? Well, many believe, and for good reason, that Sagat is based off of a real life Muay Thai fighter known as Sagat Pechindi. This fighter from Thailand is often considered to be the greatest that the sport has ever seen, and a three-time champion would have a strong enough run to even branch out into acting. In many ways, the real Sagat was the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of Muay Thai. While sharing the same name as this fighter, many believe a lot of inspiration was drawn from another fighter from the field known as Diesel Noi Chor Thanasukan, who was very tall and considered to be unbeatable. But away from the real world, fictional inspiration appears to be present too, such as his commonalities with the Muay Thai Lord featured in the manga Karate Baka Ichidai, which becomes more apparent when you look at Sagat's original concept art. But to be fair, inspiration seems to have been drawn for the character from all sorts of sources relating to Muay Thai in general. Finish Hiroshi, a Street Fighter co-creator, stated that Sagat was modelled around dramatic television kickboxing personalities, with a central theme of his character being based around a tiger, hence the use of moves such as the tiger uppercut. This may reference an old eastern tale about a king nicknamed the Siamese Tiger, who loved to compete in Muay Thai, who would in the story defeat many of the greatest fighters ever. In martial arts, the tiger is often associated with a hard style of external based fighting, the opposite to the dragon that is symbolic of a soft style of internal based martial arts, with the two acting as a sort of yin and yang to each other, making his rivalry with Ryu make even more sense, which we shall discuss soon. Across fighting games, Sagat is well known for his huge frame which paired with his Muay Thai fighting style gives him a significant physical reach over many opponents, making it all the easier for him to land devastating kicks. In combat, Sagat prioritises being on the offence above everything else, allowing him to quickly overwhelm opponents who cannot keep up with his onslaughts. Being so tall in stature makes Sagat a much bigger target than many combatants, making dealing with foe quickly all the more important. 
His longer limbs paired with his ability to shoot projectiles known as Tiger Shots make his offence extremely difficult for opponents to avoid. His infamous Tiger Uppercut is also the perfect move to take on aerial opponents, giving him great range in every direction. Before we talk about Sagat's first ever appearance in the 1987 Street Fighter game, I guess we should quickly discuss this man's early life. As a child, Sagat would of course grow up in Thailand, finding himself in constant brawls, quickly gaining an affinity for fighting. In one of these childhood fights, his right eye would become significantly injured, developing into a weak point for the fighting enthusiast. Doing literal street fighting though, a young Sagat could only learn so much, so it was only a matter of time before he started training more formally in the art of Muay Thai. By the age of 15, Sagat had grown to a tremendous size, which quickly gave him an advantage over other fighters, leading to him becoming a Muay Thai champion. Sagat's notoriety would soon earn him the nickname of the Emperor of Muay Thai, and would even go on to take on a student of his own known as Aiden. During one of his fights as champion, he took on a fighter known as Go Habiki, who would take note of Sagat's weak right eye and thus direct all of his attacks in that direction. One of these attacks would land so hard it would gouge out Sagat's eye completely, leading to him needing to wear an eye patch forever. This event would enrage Sagat so much that he would summon a power deep within, launching his first tiger shot, killing Go Habiki in an instant, which plays into the story of Street Fighter Alpha which we shall cover later. This now brings us to the events of the first Street Fighter game where Sagat would choose to host the first ever World Warrior Tournament to prove once and for all who the strongest fighter in the world was, regardless of what fighting background they came from. This was partly due to Sagat's interest being piqued by the fact that news had spread about a young man known as Ryu who had defeated 20 different Muay Thai practitioners. So by challenging Ryu, Sagat could prove once and for all who was truly the best. In the events of the game, Ryu would defeat Aiden, adding him to the list of defeated Muay Thai fighters, before finally facing off against Sagat in the game's final bout. In this brutal encounter between the two men, Sagat would technically win the tournament by pinning Ryu, but in a post-match altercation, Ryu would deliver a close to fatal Shoryuken, leaving a huge scar across Sagat's chest and him swearing revenge. The next chronological part of the Street Fighter story would occur within the Street Fighter Alpha games. In Street Fighter Alpha, seeking revenge, Sagat would seek a rematch against Ryu, eventually getting the fight he wanted and even winning in the process. Despite picking up the much desired victory, Sagat felt hollow, believing Ryu held back. Sagat would eventually give up his vendetta, believing it to be a fool's errand, however M. Bison would arrive on the scene suggesting he must master the psycho power to be truly feared. While this obviously marked Sagat joining Shadaloo in this game, these events would be completely retconned with Street Fighter Alpha 2, delivering a different story. For Sagat and Alpha 2, the story is brought back to the events following the first Street Fighter game. Ada mocks Sagat for losing to Ryu in the World Warrior Tournament, and the pair face off to see who the god of Muay Thai truly is. Sagat is defeated by Aiden due to still not recovering from his chest being ripped open by Ryu previously. In a rematch, he would beat Aiden so decisively that the young man would be in traction for four months. Continuing to be consumed with rage at the hands of his match with Ryu, Sagat eagerly accepts an invitation to join the criminal organisation headed by M. Bison, known as Shadaloo, who claim they can provide him with the resources needed to locate Ryu and get his rematch. His imposing stature and fighting style made him perfect for Shadaloo, being given the position of M. Bison's bodyguard. Now in Shadaloo, he soon catches up with Ryu, getting his much desired rematch. Ryu is resistant to fighting Sagat again though, due to noticing his chest still has not recovered from their previous encounter. But Sagat eventually gets his way and defeats Ryu just like in the first Alpha game story. Sagat would soon realise that Ryu had actually let him win, leading to Sagat wanting to train harder and win cleanly in their third encounter. During this training period, Sagat would develop the Tiger Uppercut, a key component he felt would change everything. Also in Alpha 2, for the first time, Sagat would come across Dan Hibiki, one of the comic relief characters of the Street Fighter universe. We will talk more about the ridiculousness of Dan in a future episode, but for context today, he is the son of Go Hibiki, 
the man Sagat had killed in the match where he lost his eye prior. Learning from his experiences with Ryu, and Ryu throwing the match due to Sagat's injury, Sagat would take pity on Dan and choose to purposely lose his match against him, deliberately satisfying Dan's anger in the process. In Street Fighter Alpha 3, Sagat would continue to show traits of deep down having a good character. Part of this was due to the realisation that his chest was split open by Ryu due to him being possessed by the Satsui no Heido, aka a surge of murderous intent, and the same dark energy wielded by Akuma. M. Bison would manage to present Sagat with a brainwashed Ryu, ready for another match. Sagat would be disappointed with fighting a corrupted opponent, but would fight Ryu anyway to try and break Bison's mind control. Ryu awakened from Bison's control and rejects the Dark Hado, managing to drive away Bison temporarily. It is during these events that Sagat realises that he must defeat Ryu not for revenge but for his destiny. The next part of Sagat's story takes place within the legendary game known as Street Fighter 2. In the game, Bison hosts a second World Warrior tournament to lure Ryu out of hiding, giving Sagat hopes of his much wanted rematch. If we complete the game as Sagat, he announces that he has reclaimed his title as the strongest in the world, but he knows now that Ryu is a true threat to him. He vows not to underestimate Ryu again, and swears that the next time they battle, it will be to the death. In official canon though, it is said that Sagat never even got his rematch with Ryu, and after Ryu was knocked out of the tournament, Sagat dropped out, therefore finishing in third place. After the tournament, he would resign from Sadalu for good and go back to Thailand to continue his training to truly become the strongest fighter in the world. The next chapter of Sagat's story within the Street Fighter series would take place in the Street Fighter 4 games. At the beginning of Sagat's story, he has dropped into a depression, feeling like a loser. Attending an Aiden fight, he is mocked by his former student, resulting in the two having a match once more. But managing to defeat Aiden, his fighting spirit is reinvigorated, leading to him entering Sin's newly announced tournament, maybe even finally getting another match with Ryu. In the game, he does get his much wanted match, but the game does not indicate who truly won in the story. Instead, the game ends with Sagat simply reflecting back on his obsession with Ryu, having the epiphany that fighting is not about winning or losing, but connecting with his opponent's souls through the use of his fists. Sagat pities tournament host Seth, who he can see his past self in. Returning to family and friends in Thailand, he tells them that at the tournament he actually had fun, because he met an old friend. In some ways, you could argue that Sagat finding purpose and inner peace in Street Fighter 4 was the perfect ending to his arc. So when Street Fighter 5 was released, Sagat was nowhere to be seen. In fact, he would even have his old job role filled in Shadaloo, with Fang replacing him working for M. Bison. Despite this though, he would eventually be added as a DLC fighter, which would in turn build on his established story. In this game, Sagat now has a pet tiger, bringing his connection with the animal even closer. In the events of a Sagat playthrough, Sagat begins to be tormented by the Dark Haddo, which it turns out he has been affected by due to Ryu splitting his chest open all those years before. Sagat, however, manages to overcome this power and his desire to kill by unknowingly tapping into the power of nothingness, essentially following a similar path to his old rival Ryu, leaving murderous intent behind. Of course, away from the mainline Street Fighter games, Sagat would appear in many other video games and media forms. This would include the 1995 Street Fighter live-action movie. The character played by West Study in the film is referred to as Victor Sagat, making Sagat a surname rather than the first name like previously inferred. In the movie, he is repositioned as an underground mob boss in Shadaloo City, but still retains his position as Bison's bodyguard. His rivalry with Ryu would be chucked out of the window too, and for some reason he would be depicted as Ken's main rival instead. He first pops up in the film when Ryu and Ken are featured as professional con artists for some bizarre reason. This obviously bears no resemblance to the games whatsoever, and they try to sell Sagat fake guns. Sagat uncovers these filthy young criminals plot and orders them to be killed. The pair of low-level crooks beat Sagat's men, leaving Sagat impressed and making them Vega's next cage-fighting opponents. The match is ruined by Guile though, but Sagat remains a thorn in the side of the heroes throughout the movie, acting as a secondary antagonist throughout. 
He would also appear in the Street Fighter movie video games, but rather hilariously, in his FMV introduction for the arcade game, he would be shown just comically being punched in the face. What an intro. In the Japanese Street Fighter 2 animated movie, Sagat would also be placed as a Shadaloo member, as one of Bison's main enforcers. He is shown in a flashback scene with Ryu where he receives his famous scar. Whereas later in the movie, he is belittled by Bison for the loss, with Bison denying Sagat a rematch. I guess his place within the movie is much closer to the plot of the game than that of the live action one. In the anime series known as Street Fighter 2 V, he would appear in the show with both eyes and no scar nor is he connected to Shadaloo anymore. Here he is a former Muay Thai champion who refused to allow his fights to be fixed by a crime syndicate. The syndicate frame him as a drug dealer and he is imprisoned. Ryu and Ken defeat the criminals and present evidence that gets Sagat released from prison. Happy days. Interestingly, despite carrying the ridiculous Victor Sagat name, his appearance in the American cartoon series is fairly faithful to the games with even a flashback showing Ryu giving him the scar, and functioning as Shadaloo's second in command. After learning of Bison's truly insane plans, he even switches sides and joins the good guys, giving him a redemption arc. Sagat would also appear in the Street Fighter EX series, Arika's 3D non-canon fighting games, where he would appear in Street Fighter EX2, and then go on to appear in Street Fighter EX3 past this point. In terms of crossover fighting games, he would miss out on making appearances as a playable fighter in every single Marvel vs Capcom game. But to make up for this, he would appear in many of the Capcom vs SNK games instead. Sagat would also appear in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, tagging with Dao Sim with the purpose of finding out what happened to a group of children who disappeared from Dao Sim's village. The two believe Pandora's box may hold the answers. Eventually reaching the Antarctic, the two find the missing children and Pandora opens before them. However, with the children safe, they decide they have no use for the box. Sagat would also appear as a hidden boss character to take down in the video game known as Mega Man Cross Street Fighter. Overall though, that just about rounds up the majority of Sagat's appearances over the years. In the world of video games, he is consistently represented as a proud, powerful, strong-willed fighter who is completely dedicated to martial arts which paired with his intimidating appearance makes him terrifying even just simply looking at him. But despite a rocky start to life and his hateful rivalry with Ryu, eventually Sagat was able to overcome his bitterness to instead find inner peace. There are a few video game villains with a redemption arc quite like that of Sagat's. And with in-game decisions such as leaving Shadaloo, forgiving Ryu and showing mercy to Dan, this all illustrates what a fantastically led character Sagat actually is. So next time you are playing Street Fighter 2, receiving Tiger Uppercut after Tiger Uppercut to the face, please try to remember that there is more to this imposing opponent than what first meets the eye. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the terrifying story of Sagat. If you're enjoying my Street Fighter character biopics, then please, please, please let me know in the comment section which of these fighters that you would like me to focus on next. There is a whole universe of these athletes for us to potentially get through. Also, don't forget I can get you 68% off of Street Fighter 6, a big discount on its Season 2 pass, and up to 90% off of thousands of other titles too. Use my instant gaming link below and support my work and grab a shopping list of bargains right now. Enjoy. Cheerio!